My name is uh, Antonio Vassallo. I am an assistant professor at the International Center for Formal Ontology and I am a philosopher of physics, which means that I uh, like to inquire into the conceptual issues uh, that lie at the intersection between uh, physics and philosophy. And uh, uh, the um, subject I'm most interested in is the ontology of the world according to our best worked out uh, physical theories at the moment. So the question is if our physical theories are true, uh, what is uh, the picture of reality that these uh, theories entail? So to give an example, general relativity is our best worked out theory of gravity so far. And general relativity uh, unifies uh, the gravitational field with space-time. So basically the two things are one and the same. So the question now is uh, what is the ontological status of space and time according to general relativity? Are they some sort of byproduct of uh, the uh, gravitational effects uh, so that the reality um, is not, let's say, fundamental? Or are they, let's say, the fundamental entity and then gravity is some sort of uh, um, consequence uh, of uh, space and time, let's say, being there? This is the kind of question I'm, I'm interested in. And of course, another um, physical theory which has proved itself to be uh, really uh, very well established and empirically corroborated is quantum mechanics. Now, the picture of reality according to quantum mechanics is a rather strange one because quantum objects are objects which lack any kind of definiteness. They do not occupy a position, they uh, have not a definite momentum, at least not at the same time as a position, so it seems that the picture of reality according to quantum mechanics is rather fuzzy. And uh, so the question that immediately comes to mind is uh, how is it possible that our everyday reality, which is uh, made of uh, objects which have a definite position, a definite velocity, but also definite properties, uh, colors, etc., can emerge or appear from a fundamental reality which lack any kind of ontic definiteness. Um, these kind of questions are the ones that I'm most interested in. I am uh, the coordinator of the Philosophy of Physics group here at the International Center for Formal Ontology. Uh, the group is uh, still in its infancy, but we can already uh, mention that uh, we uh, build our foundations on a pre-existing uh, uh, collaboration with uh, many uh, renowned uh, philosophers of physics uh, uh, all around Europe. So we are collaborating with, uh, for example, Karl Euffer at the University of Barcelona, who is uh, one of the uh, most uh, renowned experts in the philosophy of space and time, as philosophy of probability. We also collaborate with uh, Professor Christian Wüthrich at the University of Geneva, and uh, Professor Wüthrich is uh, an expert in the philosophy of uh, quantum gravity. We also have collaborations with uh, physicists. So uh, Professor Tim Kozlowski from the University of Würzburg is uh, one of the people we, we work with and we are very interested because uh, Professor Kozlowski works uh, in uh, the uh, uh, context of gravitational physics and we are very interested in knowing the kind of technical uh, results on which we can build uh, our philosophical uh, inquiry. Uh, the other members of, of the group uh, include Professor Vincent Lam from the University of Bern, who is also an authority on the philosophy of space and time, 
and uh, we uh, also have uh, uh, the pleasure to collaborate with Professor Tomasz Bigay from the University of Warsaw, who is, uh, I think, uh, one of the major experts uh, in, in Poland regarding the philosophy of uh, quantum mechanics. And uh, as far as the plan that we have, uh, we have to mention that the mission of uh, the, uh, the group is to foster the dialogue between uh, philosophers and physicists. So we want to uh, bring these two communities uh, closer together. In order to do so, we are planning to organize a series of biennial uh, conferences which will be called uh, Warsaw Space-Time Conferences. And uh, the aim of these conferences will be, in fact, to create a common ground where philosophers interested in physics and physicists interested in philosophy can meet and discuss. And hopefully uh, we could gain new perspectives on these conceptual issues that lie at the intersection between physics and philosophy. Besides that, we also plan to organize a series of seminars which will be uh, both uh, online and, uh, uh, let's say, viva voce. And uh, these seminars uh, will feature each week a, a, a an expert in philosophy of physics who will present his uh, work in progress uh, results. And uh, so these uh, uh, seminars will be open to everybody through the internet or here at the Warsaw University of Technology. So that will be a good occasion to share uh, this state of the art in uh, the, the philosophical inquiry regarding uh, physics. So at this moment, uh, I am uh, uh, acting as principal investigator for a research project funded by the Polish National Science Center. This research project uh, concerns the ontology of quantum gravity, which is uh, a soon to be uh, worked out theory which tries to merge uh, uh, gravity with uh, uh, quantum mechanics. There are many, many issues in doing uh, this kind of merging procedure, and these issues are both technical and conceptual. And it is, in fact, in this latter uh, side of the matter that my project uh, uh, moves. So the idea is that to come up with an ontology of uh, this quantum gravitational regime which is uh, um, clear enough to let physicists build a dynamical description which is able to constitute uh, the core of uh, a sound theory of quantum gravity. So the idea is uh, to um, work out an ontology which does not inhabit uh, a background space and time, but uh, rather an ontology that uh, weave up space-time as a consequence of its dynamical uh, development. Uh, this kind of project is, of course, very ambitious because uh, it basically treats uh, physics uh, and metaphysics on a par. So we are not taking uh, a pre-existing theory and we are, so to speak, reading off an ontology from this pre-existing theory. We are doing something more ambitious. Uh, we are trying to develop an ontological picture of the world uh, side by side with uh, the development of the physical theory. So physics and metaphysics in this case are acting as a seamless whole. 
and in order to do so I uh, will have the possibility to hire a PhD student who will help me in uh, let's say carrying out the uh, research uh, in this project. So I'm very excited to be part uh, of the International Center for Formal Ontology uh, because I think we have the potential uh, to grow as an internationally recognized center of excellence for research regarding ontology. And in this sense, I'm happy to contribute uh, my, my part uh, to the research, uh, which is, uh, in fact, uh, the research on the ontology of uh, the physical uh, world. And uh, I think that uh, in uh, uh, not many years, uh, uh, the International Center for Formal Ontology will become uh, a frame of reference for uh, ontology and uh, philosophy of science and philosophy of physics uh, in Eastern Europe and in, in Europe, but for the international community uh, in general.